It's Kato. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to take a look at Valiverse Action Force Blowback, the next, I guess, technically the first figure in the Special Deployment series. First thing I'd like to do is thank all these names you see scrolling up on the left side of the screen. Those are my channel members. If you would like to become a channel member, click the join button below the video or the join link in the description. Let's get started. Continuing the trend with the Special Deployment series, you have the black diamond plate metal looking packaging with the little flames underneath action force blowback inside you can see most if not all of the accessories you get inside as well as blowback on this side you get the action force logo more diamond plate metal and the action force symbol on the bottom here you have blowback artwork on the side with blowback sds01 and on the back you get product art of blowback you get his uh, bio card, QR code that you can scan to see more product in the line. If you want to read the bio card, just pause right there. Let's open the box. Now let's talk about the accessories, and this one is pretty accessory heavy. I really like it. Of course, you get the standard hands that we've gotten with most, this time painted in that light green and black. You have the semi-closed gripping hands, closed fist, the relaxed palm, and on the figure, you'll have the trigger finger hands. Uh, you also get a small knife here, this time in that light green and black. His handgun in desert sand and black. Same thing with his rifle, which I absolutely love this rifle uh, model. It's got the sand and black. You can see the laser, the scope. The magazine is removable. You get two additional magazines that are actually on the figure, on the holsters on his left leg. You have a suppressor here that is not removable. Moving over, of course, you get the amazing figure stands that I always praise for being in the box. I love those. You get a, an additional head sculpt, just a masked head sculpt in the light green. You can see the eyes and everything in there. You get his uh, night vision goggles for his helmet, which is a little darker green. Uh, the helmet side pieces here are removable, and you can put the comms and ear protection on there. Or, in this case... Like with Tim Kennedy, you have the option of putting the actual headset on. To change these out, just pop that off. Grab the one you want to put on. Slide back here to the back. Slide that in, and that will give you a headset with comms. Pop the head on there, and that's what that would look like. To use the night vision goggles, you can do two things. You can either put it right on the helmet as though it was there on his eyes or I like to do it flipped up so you can peg those in I hit the camera peg those in like that as though they were flipped up the other direction I love the accessories with these as we move on to looking at the figure he looks really impressive in the box he's got a really nice clean head sculpt his haircut is fresh that faded paint there on the back I love that yeah, really clean head sculpt. It looks really good. Coming down to the vest, before I put the knife back in its sheath, I wanted to show you that patch there, the patchwork on there, the Action Force logo, the carabiner, his med pack, the knife sheath, uh, the gray backpack or vest rather, the gray and black. You've got his uh, comms here on the back. Be careful with these antennas. They can tend to come unplugged. Uh, this one seems to be in there pretty sturdy, but... Uh, you got his communicator here on the top left. Black paint for the belt coming down to the crotch. You've got, went ahead and put the magazines back in their holster here. That looks so good. Love all the detailed creases coming down the legs, down to the boots and the buckles there on the boot, all the way down to the tread on the bottom of the boot. Moving on to the other side, you've got his uh, Kydex holster here with his, I went ahead and put his handgun in there. We can drop the knife back in the sheath now that we have seen that. That looks good. Love the detail of that carabiner. I just think that's a really cool touch. You got his bracelet there with gloves and the trigger hands. Let's get a good close-up look of the whole figure. Man, super clean. Very well done. No issues with paint 
at all. Every line seems to be just right for the paint. Man, that looks good. Love the slid, the rolled up sleeves. Articulation, same as we've seen on most of these. Rotation at the head. He can look all the way up if you want. He can look down quite a bit. A little bit of side to side, which is good for getting that, for lining those shots up. The neck is molded in, I think. So it's only a joint there. I don't see the neck moving at all, really. Nope, not at all. Uh, arms, rotation all the way around, up about that far. Nice butterfly, love that deep butterfly to the back and to the front. You can see that there, rotation at the upper bicep. Nice, much more than 90 degree double elbow bend. Rotation at the wrist and these wrists on the trigger hands move uh, like a dice roll up and down. Uh, same on that. You do have an upper ab crunch on all these figures. With this vest on, it gets a bit uh, cumbersome to move that, but you can see still plenty of ab crunch and movement. It'll just caught up when moving forward a little bit. Drop down hips for the legs. They'll come out that far. Rotation at the upper side just above the holster. Nice, deep, more than 90 degree knee bend for the back. Rotation at the boot. Ankle rocker and tilt works perfect. For a quick size comparison, there he is with the other special deployment series figure, and they share some of the weapons you can see there, Infantry Commando, and another special deployment series figure, the Swarm Sentry. And just for the heck of it, there he is beside G.I. Joe Classified Series Flint. And there you have my look at Valiverse Action for Special Deployment Series blowback another great addition to the collection the way they lay the paint out on these figures is pretty stellar i mean there's i don't see any flaws in paint articulation is about as good as you can expect for a figure in the price range it's really good i'm always going to praise the figure stands love the realistic weaponry uh, the handguns the rifles they all look top notch perfectly uh, usable accessories, uh, nice alternative head sculpts. I love the helmets, the, be, uh, the ability to swap out the earpieces. It's all just almost like a perfectly fine-tuned action figure to accessory ratio. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Get your hands on these uh, special deployment series. I know you can order them straight from the Valiverse website, uh, Big Bad Toy Store, and other retailers as well. If you made it this far and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this video out there to your friends. Till next time, this is Kato signing out.